Okay, folks, this is the sixth and originally the last tutorial in the coins series. This is one where we take a look at these coins themselves and make them look a little bit more attractive to pick up. And in order to do this, we're going to create a material and place it on the coins. So I am going to right click in the content browser and say material. And I'm going to say coin glow as the name for our material. And I'm going to double click it. Once it's double clicked, where I have all my blueprints is now going to show up with a material. So these materials are just like the other blueprints. Uh, if I open up this palette on the side, you can see a whole bunch of different actions that I can use. I can drag the constant three vector in, or if you see on that palette, it has a three next to it. I can just hit three and click, and that will create a constant three. I use a constant three for my base color because RGB and one, two, three. So if I double click that, RGB, three values. It's just like a vector. So I can change red and green. I can change the intensity that happens with those. I've got this nice bright yellow with one, one, zero. And if I go ahead and say save, the best thing to do here is let's open up our coin. So where did my coin go? Hmm. Open up our coin by double clicking it. And under the viewport, if I select the disk materials over here, basic wall, I can change that to coin glow. If I save this or compile it, all of the coins will have that color. But this isn't quite what I'm looking for with glow. So there are a number of other factors, metallic, specular, roughness, emissive color, a whole bunch of things here. And you know, I could make it metallic so it glitters a little bit. Um, a lot of these are controlled by using a constant one. So if I just hit one and click, I could connect that to the metallic which mm, with the zero, it's really kind of plasticky. Uh, if I turn this up to 100, it's gonna be much more metallic-like. Uh, but odds are, oh, why did I, oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to click and create another one. If I give it specular, it's got a little bit of a glow. Let's change this up to 100. And it has a little bit more of a glow. But what I'm really looking for is, I'm not planning on using either of those. I want to work with emissive color. So I'm going to do the same thing where I plug this into emissive color. It looks about the same. If I turn it up to 50, it's got a little bit of brightness. If I turn it up to 100, it's got even more brightness and it's starting to glow. So if I hit save, and then I go take a look at it in the scene, these things are starting to glow. But I really wanted to have that nice golden color. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use this as my color, but I'm gonna use this as my intensity. And I'm going to say multiply. And I'm going to multiply this one with this one and plug this into admissive color. And now I've got this golden glow. Let's go ahead and save that. This is pretty powerful. It's turning my whole scene a, a little more yellow. And if I move these around, start to see that it actually is showing up in the lighting. And I can, if I want, I can turn this up even higher. And it's gonna have even more of effect, of an effect. Let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. Now you, you really can't miss them. They're almost sort of mesmerizing. They're, they're daring you to be picked up. 
daring you to pick them up, excuse me. Okay, so that's really all the tutorials that I wanted to, to cover for today. Uh, this is the full coin series. I'm going to augment this with a, uh, I'll take this one step further by adding health to the player character. And I'll also try utilizing one of the, the Paragon characters uh, to replace my, my current character and show you a few ways to do that. So those will be a little bit more advanced and I'll probably follow up the, with those a tiny bit later. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.